witnesses, this convoy was hit by fighter jets at around 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. The vehicle, the debris, is strewn over an area that stretches for kilometers. There are at least 40 vehicles, military vehicles that we counted here, anywhere from trucks carrying ammunition to tanks with their turrets blown off. We've seen at least four charred bodies. We're told that there are many more. This is a convoy of Gaddafi's military that eyewitnesses are saying was trying to make yet another advance onto Benghazi. We had been hearing fighter jets overhead in the early hours of the morning. We're still hearing them overhead right now. This appears to have been caused by a number of strikes given the scope and the breadth of the destruction that really, I mean, it stretches for about as far as I can see. People now have gathered around the various uh, burning vehicles. They've gathered around the bodies. They have one message, and that is thank you. And they want the world to know that this strike by those foreign fighter jets has been right on target. They want to make that very clear because they know that Gaddafi's propaganda machine has been saying that Western powers have been hitting civilian locations, have been causing civilian casualties. They want people to know that this was a strike right on a military convoy that, again, as we were saying, appeared to be making an advance on Benghazi. These foreign fighter jets weren't in the air. If these strikes hadn't been happening, there would be a battle right. raging for Benghazi once again. When the battle took place yesterday, opposition forces managed to push back Gaddafi's army, but only barely. Gaddafi's military machine, as we have been saying, had been advancing on the poorly trained, poorly equipped opposition okay. fighters. But right now we have the evidence of what happens as a result of modern foreign warfare.